Hello. Seems surprised my return. Reason probably asking yourself. Where are the vlogs? Well I'm back by popular minion demand. And me and the VA are here to tell you a little story about one of the most evilest men in America. The Trump. Trumpies might be thinking, why are we watching this? Well, I say to those dumb Trumpies, let Matthew teach you. His grandfather, Frederick Trump, was a guy from Germany, which you may recognize from the country that caused World War II and was the blame of causing the First World War. But this was before that. The German states were pretty much... Germany wasn't a real con unified country at that time. So Frederick Trump leads his poor ass neighborhood. Well, Frederick Trump. You know, and he heads to America. And at the time, there were a lot of Germans immigrating to New York. Plus... How do you think I got your means? Moving on to our story. So he just basically goes to a barber shop, I think. Makes so. But then he hears that the gold rush is plagued at the western coast of the US. Now I will say the western coast had lots of gold. He gets his looks in any way he can by trying to open a restaurant. opens a restaurant, so he opens the restaurant. And at the time, Western coast of coast U.S. civilization was not the best thing in the world because prostitution, drinking, fights. It's madness, bond madness. So we built a restaurant, as I said. And he's making money for like stuff. He hears about like the uh, for gold. He joins a long trek of miners just climbing up the Canadian Rocky Mountains. You know, the dead horse trail because all the horses die. And what I think would kind of be cruel today in terms of the vegans. Cooking those horses for burgers makes money off of it. And then there are no more horses to make burgers out of. You just built a two star hot stories story hotel, puts out on a barge, all destroyed, and hopefully you would just learn that he maybe learned his lesson like this was not the good idea. Unfortunately, given the Trump family's, like, resilience, they rebuilt the whole hotel as if the crash, like, never happened. Ugh! Rebuilt the hotel. Turns out to be one of the most lawless places in the world at the time. It makes money off of it. A lot of sporting girls, a lot of more fighting stuff. Jeez. But he just moved back to Germany, and hopefully he could have stayed there. But unfortunately, as I said, the German states were not unified at that time. It's been out of Germany for eight years. And it's hard to apply for citizenship. Because... Yeah. Stay. And that if be deported. So he just they just move his ass back to America. The portion and over. Man of course he just the barber. 
the living. But it's not much, but unfortunately it's kind of... What do you mean, a beautiful lady? Wait, I can't remember. And they have four children, one of which becomes the evil Donald's father. Fed. Oh, no, base. Base. So Frederick Trump thankfully dies by the influenza epidemic in 1918. Uh, of course, World War II. I mean, World War I, sorry. And the poor wife of his has to manage all those children. Also, unfortunately, his eldest son, Fred, actually manages to, like, just get all that money. So he basically just makes some tenants for a while. But, of course, at 24, he would face one of the greatest challenges of the Trump era. The Great Depression. And it was hard at that time. There was like, before that, I mean, like a lot of homes, and it would be half a million dollars in today's money. Anyway, so basically, FDR announced the plan to save the economy, and due to Fred Trump being in New York, well, of course, mainly takes advantage of that, and some things would kind of be questionable. There's like because he had friends in the government. And when someone tried to, like, run a thing, he just... Ran. I don't know. But, of course, we didn't get him much. Because eventually he met yet another immigrant lady, just like his father did. Well, grandfather. Basically, I kind of something in the burden. I don't know what it was. Anyway, so they marry. They have about like some about three kids. A big whoop. Unfortunately, by the end of World War Two. we get the devil. Devil J. Trump. Well, also around during that time, when Dwight D. Eisenhower, our president after Truman and Roosevelt. Well, Richards. So Fred, of course, gets in and like, hey, we can make totally money off this. It's a foolproof thing. So, of course, he takes advantage of government funds, builds houses, and just packets the cash like some sleazy mafia guy. No, 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 not Giovanni. Giovanni, Team Rocket is much better. Anyway, so basically, Joy D. Eisenhower finds out about pretty much using his fundings. He's furious. There's a Senate hearing or testify. And you would assume that people would actually just learn the, the common sense, arrest the guy, put him in jail for life, move on to American society from there. But no. Fred just. Annoyingly persists. And also around that time, his fourth son Donald is literally the devil, even before he became the president of our country with help from the Russians. Trouble in school, disrupting class. Demon Biden switchblade knives! 
So they sent him off to military school. Which might seem like a good idea. Just smack the discipline into some like, little brat. Make him to a nice kind of person, as some military schools do. Well, unfortunately, though, it doesn't get much better for this. In military school, looks down on everybody. No, stop him, of course, from having girl. Every time his family visited, they would bring girls. And become like a ladies' man. And back then, military schools, they couldn't bring girls. So if you wanted to try to bring a girl, good luck with that, because I'm not complaining about it. Also, but also another fact, and forgive me if I'm going off topic, uh, which I'm not, is basically, well, some of the time, Fred promoted his business, and on that yacht, on a beach in Coney Island. Trump, and you definitely know that this was a sign of trouble. But not yet. Anyway, back to freaking Donald's story. Evil Trump legacy. So basically... Trump's just basically growing up, graduates with like some sort of economic degree. God, well, basically, man, it's like some casinos. Oh, okay. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Fred tried to basically get Freddie to do the business. Unfortunately, he sucked. And if Freddie learned how to do business properly, I mean, what about a very successful guy? What about the greatest heir in the history of heirs? Unfortunately, though, he only took a job as a pilot. Fair. But, of course, while he did get a family, he died of alcoholism. And that's actually sad. Like, now, I know we might get some hate on this, but I would say that Freddie Trump is actually the most decent down to earth of the Trump family. Much better than Donald. But what is? Anyway. So Donald's is basically learning the reins of the family business one step at a time. And also, unfortunately, meets the man who has, like, some of the stuff that, of course, we've seen from the debates, the campaign, even for the whole, pre for the whole presidency, and we're only still in first term. Boy, come on. Now, when he always had thing. And if somebody had just murdered the guy, then Donald won't have anybody to learn from but his own dad. Well, unfortunately, no one even had the balls to do that because he was respected by the Godfathers, the crime mafia. He was an anti gay guy. He was gay himself, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so basically, they. And not give housing to African Americans or Hispanics. Of course, investigating that. They would sue. And Roy Kong counters it for a hundred million. God. And while in the big, well, the court decision that they had to keep the lock and list of everyone who was there, regardless of race and whatnot, they also took it as like some of the most slight victory. Bastards. So 
I was basically in the women's business along, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're a Freddy die, of course. And of course, he doesn't think too much of it. Huh. Mm. Anyway, so he meets Ivana, his first wife. And of course, she's another model. No, 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 I'm sorry. I immigrant. But she's a model. So I marry. And of course, they have three children. Ivanka. Donald Trump Jr. And then Sidley is a model, Eric. And we're not even done with this story. Not by a long shot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so basically... Well, unfortunately, Ivana is basically just in Trump's view, like... Like he's been married to a business partner, and... It makes sense since she's a gold digger, and I have viewed about gold diggers. I'm not kidding. Also around that time, he does build Trump Tower. And you may, th and I think we may have heard some during the debates and stuff that the immigrant worker then complained, got sent back to his country. But if any Trump just tries to comment, we're not replying. And we should by your decision. Anyway, so basically, of course, Trump has like a affair with yet another immigrant woman who is his second wife. And when he paired the two together on a skiing trip, they bumped each other. Lana files for a divorce. And guess who comes around that time? Roy Khan. The Khan guy. It was battle after battle of lawyers and whatnot. And the, okay, one of the prints did include that if Lana was to divorce Trump, she had to give all her gifts to him. And that was. Now that is literally me divorce. Sleazy. Anyway, so basically. They did get a divorce. But Trump, of course, bounced back. Got married to. Whatever. Yeah, Tiffany Trump, who's my age, but. Now, I know some minions in my army might be thinking, could we perhaps transfer Tiffany Trump to the good side? The answer I'd say to that, no. Not in a bazillion years. Not even if Trump was impeached or his Russia's ties will fully be brought to light, which they are doing, but hopefully and just get him out of office, move on with eyes in there, and move. My pants are pretty sucking ass. Anyway, so be. So basically, even though that marriage is fine, his business is one out of business. Thank God. I think. It's casinos. <laughs> Five for bankruptcy. Well, of course, I didn't stop fucking Trump now, did he? Even after his father died in 1999, his mother died the year after. Plus, the second wife divorced him. Gugh. But regardless, Trump bounced back yet again. Jeez. Mary Milani, yet another 
immigrant. The rule of three. And me and my guy's case, she's still undocumented. It's to answer. So anyway, they have like another kid who has, like Baron, who of course has autism. But since I have autism, I'm just like kind of a little more trying to get my bearings in life. You know, especially been in Ruru for a year, and that same year is when stupid Donald just won with the help of the Russians. Cheated our democratic process. He cheated with the help of a foreign nation by getting them and WikiLinks and Julian Osos to get them the emails, and he's still trying to call for an investigation to his opponent. Breaking the Watergate standards that an opponent shall not in winning Victor shall not investigate an opponent for something they've done. And it's sad but true. And other than that I'll say but Hopefully one of these days, the Trump's legacy of evading the law, hiding money from various people, hopefully one of these days, Trump would just go to jail. Because the Russia probe, because an article I've seen, seriously. And one of these days, the Trump Empire will just crumble down. And one of these days, even though we might get Pence, hopefully he'll lose a re-election bid. Hey, American citizens, Crozier and I approve the VA's man.